Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy at First Summit God in Burlington, Kansas. It is July the 28th, and uh, it's Thursday, and we're coming down to the end of the week. And next week, I may be dealing with this topic topic again. But uh, let me let me talk about number one. Was if you remember yesterday, we talked about number one passion. Why do we need to rekindle? Number one, passion is the first step of achievement. Well, number two. Passion increase, increases willpower. The key to willpower is the want power, the willingness to change, the want power. People who want something bad enough can usually find the willpower to achieve it. When you want something enough, you're going to find a way to get it. You're going to save, you're going to plan, you're going to do because you're, you're, you're wanting it, that wanting power. Well, that willpower, we need to have a want to have a deeper walk with the Lord. Uh, Galatians 5.16, I say then, walk in the Spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Romans 12.1 says, not lagging in diligence, fervent in the Spirit, serving the Lord. Those are so deep, deep scriptures for you. So number two was passion increases with power. Three, passion changes lives. As a Christian, we interact with other people constantly. Unbelievers and believers alike. We're always around people. God wants us to have an influence upon the people we touch. Your passion for the Lord will, will influence the many people you come in contact with for the good. Listen, there's no greater joy that, than when you see someone else else's life change as a result of your influence. It is so key. You, you, you influence those around you, your attitude, the way you speak, the, if you, you're different than the world, you're not part of this world, you may live here but you don't have to act like them. And God's saying to us that our influence can transform those and change around them. Listen, 2 Corinthians 9, 2 says, For I know your willingness about what which I boast for the Macedonians that, that I, the Archaea were re ready a year ago. Your zeal has stirred up the majority. It's saying here that the, the passion that you have will spill out or, or will ignite somebody else. Say, you know, no one wants to see a, 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 you know, a, a, a negative Christian. See, sometimes we get so down. Well, you know, life's just not stinky or whatever. But can I tell you, if you're positive about the things of God and, and you know that God's working in your life, not every day is going to be perfect, but if majority of your days, God's been working on your life. Can I tell you that it will ignite around you and people will turn and, and come to Christ. Let me pray for you. Lord, I just thank you so much. I pray that, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you stir, that you reunite, that you rekindle the passion that we ha need for you. Lord God, bless every person today. Lord God, give them the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today, Lord, in your name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you on Friday.